methods of warfare are changing rapidly, and the U.S. Army faces a problem. The Second Nagorno-Karabakh War, in late 2020, vividly demonstrated the power of precision fires in the modern battle space. In that war, Armenian towed artillery became easy prey to the Azerbaijani top attack kamikaze drones, unable to shoot and scoot rapidly, and not adequately protected with counter-unmanned aerial systems. Kua's defense, the Russian-made towed D-30 122mm howitzers and D-20 152mm of the Armenian army were quickly discovered and devastated by Azerbaijani drones. The recent war in the Caucasus was the first war in history won primarily by unmanned systems, something of which anyone interested in military affairs should take note, and the lessons of this war have far-reaching consequences that few in the West seem to recognize. U.S. Army Hoetzer requirements witnessing the war in the Caucasus and having focused on counterinsurgency warfare for the past 20 years. The U.S. Army has seen that it is outgunned and outranged by the artillery of peer competitors, such as China and Russia. As a result, the number one modernization priority is long-range precision fires. The chief of staff of the U.S. Army, Gen. James McConville, explained in an interview by the Center for Strategic and International Studies in March 2021, that the Army needs long-range precision fires, the ability to penetrate an anti-access area denial capability, and the ability to provide an anti-ship capability from land. To meet these challenges, the U.S. Army established a shoot-off for production-ready artillery systems from developers from several countries to field quickly and deploy long-range precision fires, LRPF, for its striker and light units. The Army cannot wait for the usual 10-year programmatic development cycle to design and produce a new howitzer. Being behind the curve, it wants to pick from a group of existing wheeled howitzer systems that, if purchased, could be deployed rapidly to combat units to replace the shorter range, less survivable legacy towed artillery systems in its fleet. The U.S. Army shoot-off between the Archer, Atmos, Brutus, Caesar, and Nora systems involved 90 days at Yuma Proving Ground, Arizona and was completed before November 2021. Prior to the competition, each system was rigorously evaluated. The firing tests included evaluation in the areas of mobility, fire control integration, compatibility with firing U.S. Army projectiles. Here are the five systems that were invited to prove their capabilities to the U.S. Army field artillery in 2021. Archer Mobile Hoitzer BAE Systems Bofors offered its Archer FH 77 BW 52 Lira truck mounted Hoitzer. BAE reports that Archer is based on the successful Bofors FH 77 field Hoitzer, consisting of an automated 155mm 52 caliber gun, mounted on an RMMV 8x8 truck. The system is a fully automated, self propelled 155mm Hoitzer wear loading laying and firing, are handled from inside the armored cabin, offering full protection for the gun crew at all times. As with the other systems in the shoot-off, the maximum range for Archer with rocket-assisted Excalibur ammunition is around 50 kilometers. Archer also offers an optional advanced multispectral camouflage system and includes an ammunition resupply system with a support vehicle for a complete artillery solution. Elbit Systems of America entered their battle-proven Atmos Iron Saber 155mm truck-mounted howitzer to the U.S. Army shoot-off. According to Elbit, Atmos offers the advantages of superior firepower, enhanced mobility and rapid response time. Highly adaptable, the modular Atmos system is compatible with any 6x6 or 8x8 high-mobility tactical truck, although current models do not have an armored cabin. According to Elbit, Atmos supplies fire support for all types of missions and can be easily interfaced with customers' existing C4I systems. Iron Saber incorporates an embedded electronic suite automatic laying system and automatic loading system. This advanced electronic suite is claimed to enable accurate navigation and autonomous operation, reduced crew size, increased firepower, and high precision accuracy. The shoot and scoot capability of the Iron Saber is provided by a first round ability within 30 seconds of vehicle halt, and the system can fire six rounds in less than 110 seconds.